don't click off of the video please please there are a lot of things i have to cover first off i'm not the developer if you have any questions or anything you might want to say to the developer maybe you have a bug maybe you want a feature or anything like that there is a discord server where you can ask these questions so what are the requirements to install the game well i would say at least three gigs of space and i would recommend you have at least one gig of ram the more you have the better i'd say one gig is probably the bare minimum and you also need an android usually it would be best if you had 7.0 and up okay so let's get started here now if you want to play the piano you will need to get hackers keyboard so we can go into play store and here at the search we can search for hackers keyboard and once we are here we can just install now while that is busy we also need to get z archiver this is just so we can look at the files we need and move them or install them or something like that you'll also need this if you want to bring a saved monica into the new game which i'll show you how to do later so you can search for z archiver and we can install that okay so while that is busy we can also go and search for telegram because this is where you can download the game. There's also a link, but the link usually breaks after a few months. So if you're struggling with that, you can go and get it on Telegram. So the first method to install Monica is just to follow the link. So here on the link, as you can see, there is the game. You can go download it from there, but I am not going to do that. I am going to do it from Telegram, but you can use this method as well. Both will work exactly the same. Okay, now in here we can go to Telegram. And we can search for at copyrighted bot. You should see my bot pop up close to the top of the results. And then you can just type slash and get MAS. This will allow us to get all of the Monica After Store games that's saved on my bot. Once you get that, you can select the top one. That is version 12, the one we'll be doing today. If you select that, it will send you the Monica After Store game. You can just download it. Now, once you have downloaded it, you can say save to downloads, and that will save it to your downloads folder. Perfect. Now we can go and open Z Archiver. So Z Archiver is just a normal file manager. It's like the file manager you have on your phone. So to get it, you can go to your downloads folder. And inside of your downloads folder, you'll see the game. If the game is not inside of your downloads folder, you'll have to scroll down until you see a folder called Telegram. And inside of that, you'll see a folder called Telegram Documents. And in here, you should be able to find the game. It will end in a .apk. Okay, so once you have that, then you can just select the game, whether it's in your downloads or in Telegram, and you can install it. Now, staging the app may take a while. So be patient here, because if it takes five minutes, it takes five minutes. If you're trying to install the app and it does say it is corrupt, then what you can do is you can just go and re-download the APK from Telegram. It does sometimes happen that when you download an APK, maybe something during the download broke and then it got corrupted. But you can just go download it again and it won't be corrupted afterwards. Once it has finished staging, you can just install it. If you're getting any extra errors while installing, you can go and check that out in the Q&A section of the video. Now, once you have done that, we can say done. If you want to play the piano, then let's go to Hacker's Keyboard. You can skip this part if you're not interested in playing the piano. First, you need to click on the Enable Keyboard button. 
and you should see a way to enable it there. Next, you should click on the set input method and you should set it to hacker's keyboard. After that, you should go to settings and scroll all the way down until you see use permanent notification. You have to check that. And if you bring your notifications down, you should see show hacker's keyboard. Now we are not ready yet. If you use Android Go or maybe your phone tries to always save resources, you need to do the following. So go out of Hacker's Keyboard and open up your settings. Now this is mostly if you're on Samsung. If you're not on Samsung then you don't have to worry about this part right here. You should go to Smart Manager and then go to Performance Enhancer. You should see an option Enhance Phone Performance. And it would say something like put background apps to sleep when the screen is off for three minutes. You want to turn that off. You don't want that enabled. Same with enhanced game performance because that will close your keyboard, the hacker's keyboard, once you're trying to open the game. So you want to disable that as well. Now we're going to talk about how to restore a backup from a PC save. So you do need to open up DDLC at least once in order to do this. And you need to talk to Monica until you can tell her you're going to restart or goodbye or anything like that. So she can create a save file and it's ready to load any saves there may, may be. Now I'm going to show you how to copy the files from the PC version. If you have an older version of the game on Android and don't have a PC, then the process will be relatively the same. You just need to have those files backed up and ready to import into the game. I'll link in the description where you can find Monica's backed up files and you can just go get that if you have the PC. Once you have found the files, you can just send them to your phone. So once you have the files on your phone, you can just open the archiver and go to the folder where you saved the files. In there, you should have your Monica After Story saves and in there, you should have your RenPy folder. Inside of your RenPies folder, you should have a Monica After Story folder. Inside of that, you can just copy everything. And then once you have done that, you can just go to your Androids folder. Inside of your Androids folder, you can go to data. You can go to com.ddlc.mas. Once you're in there, you can go to files and you should see a folder called saves. You'll see a db.mcal and a persistent folder. You can just paste your things here and say replace because you're getting your old Monica here. Then you can delete everything else that is not db.mcal and persistent. Yeah, if it has a dot .buck at the end, that just means it's a backup file and you can delete it. Now once you have that, you can go back and open DDLC. Now with me, you'll notice my Monica is nowhere to be found. That means my backup that I just restored isn't quite right. That's why there's so many .bug files there. So you can go back and you can just do the whole process again. But this time, instead of seeing of just selecting the ones that's db.macl or persistent, you can select the one of the highest number. So db.macl33 for me and also persistent 33.buck. The rest I can delete because I do not need them. We can then rename them to remove the .buck and any numbers it may have. Once you have done that, you can open up Monica after store again. And remember this process is only optional if the first time you try to restore a backup, you didn't get Monica. My Monica is back the way she should be. And that's how to restore her from a previous game. All right, now that we have all of that installed, here are some of your frequently asked questions that I get on every single video I make. First off, receiving notifications from Monica. Unfortunately, I don't believe this feature exists on Android just yet. You can probably go find out by asking the developer, but I highly doubt that Monica can send you notifications or Windows React in any way. I can't enter my name, what should I do? 
well you should probably get a new keyboard just go to play store download a keyboard and that one should work i got an app non installed error what now well first off make sure you have met the requirements which is at least one gig of ram your storage should be about three gigs but if you want to be safe i would recommend five gigs you also need android version 7.0 and up in order to run this i found a bug or I want to request a new feature, what should I do? Well, you can go to the Discord server. There's a server with the developer and everything, you can just go and ask there, and you should be replied to fairly soon. Monica doesn't see the gift I gave her, what's going on? Well, you probably need to restart the game. Once you've given Monica a gift, you will have to restart the game in order for her to see it. Sometimes you're lucky enough to not have to restart the game, but usually you do have to. I want X language to be implemented. Now I believe there is a Spanish version, so you can probably go and get that one. If you want Russian or you want a different language other than English, then I would recommend you go talk to the developer. Where do I get the new updates? Well, you can get the new updates from the developer on Discord. In fact, I did delay this video quite a lot, so those of you that are on Discord have already received the update and is playing the game right now. Where can I find the iOS version of this? Well, I don't know. I don't think there is an iOS version. I want only Natsuki or only Sayori or only Yuri. Well, unfortunately, I don't think the developer has worked on those games. If you have created any of those for Android, then feel free to contact me and I will make a promotional video of it if I deem it worthy. So to play the piano, it is rather simple. If you have done everything you needed to do with the hacker's keyboard by installing it and selecting all of the required options, then to do it is pretty easy. You just open up DDLC, and if you have enough affection points, then you are able to play the piano. You should find it inside of the play menu, and you should see piano. Once you've opened the piano, you can just drag down your notification area and click show hackers keyboard. And now you can play the piano. Have fun guys, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, and uh, this one might be a little bit sad, but I will not be creating more promotional videos for the Monica After Story on Android game. Ah. Uh,